can see between horses in third, still right there is Bally Lynn, and they in turn are being followed by Smuggler Stash and Pocket Talk, and on the wide outside, Bandon Bridge has some sort of chance. The six are still covered by four or five lengths. It'll be decided on the time for home, you'd imagine, but as they come to the third last, the Benny S.A., with on the outside, Murdo McKenzie between horses, right on terms there is Bally Lynn, and the three will nearly take off together at this one. The Benny S.A. and Bally Lynn now go on from in third is Murdo McKenzie, and then Smuggler Stash, followed by Pocket Talk, and the back marker is Bandon Bridge. They race to the second last, and Kevin Power in front from Kieran Fennessy, and it's the Benny S.A. going on by two lengths. Bally Lynn shaken up in second, Murdo McKenzie six lengths down in third, and then Smuggler Stash. Here's the second last for the Benny S.A. Jumped by about a length and a half from in in second now ridden is Bally Lynn they're going away from Smuggler Stash and Murdo McKenzie and as they climb for home it's the Benny S.A. on the uphill climb now to the final fence leads by two or three lengths it's the Benny S.A. from Bally Lynn under pressure in second then Murdo McKenzie and Smuggler Stash but the Benny S.A. given a positive front running ride here by Kevin Powers kicked clear by eight lengths Murdo McKenzie passes Bally Lynn to go into second but here's the last for the Benny S.A. he flew it and is well clear in second place is Murdo McKenzie but a polished performance here by the Benny Essie overcomes the testing conditions to win by a wide margin for Kevin Power and Che Barry. The Benny Essie wins well. Murdo McKenzie, good run in second. Bally Lynn was third and fourth then. Across the line was Smuggler Stash, and I think they were the four finishers.